Today I explore the secret tunnels and chambers hidden beneath the fortresses of Shibanik. Join me today and see these tunnels for the first time on camera. What's going on guys? So I'm here in the cemetery of St. Anna, right below St. Michael's Fortress, one of the most iconic fortresses of Shibanik. And what we are looking for today are the tunnels beneath the fortresses around the city. There should be an entrance to an escape tunnel built for the nobility to escape down to the Riva if the Ottomans were to conquer the city in the 1600s, which they never did. But somewhere, supposedly in this cemetery or around it, there should be an entrance to a tunnel that leads down to the water. Now we are looking around here for the entrance to that tunnel which may be covered or it may be in one of these buildings. But up on the hill there is the fortress of St. Even. And next to it is the fortress Baron. Now between these two fortresses are a series of Cold War and World War II tunnels. And below the fortress of St. Even, I believe there are some old tunnels from possibly the mid 17th century around the time when these forts were being used to repel the Ottoman attack in 1647, where over 20,000 Ottomans failed to capture the city of Shibanik. So we'll take a look up there in a minute. I'm not sure if, if this entrance to these tunnels would even be around here anymore. It does look like something was bricked over back there. Possibly it was back there at some point. Let's keep looking around, guys. It reminds me of the library from Indiana Jones. <laughs> Maybe it's under here. Obviously, I wouldn't damage a cemetery, though. Not that crazy. Well, if there is a tunnel entrance somewhere in this graveyard, it's either very well hidden or inside one of these buildings. But I do want to find this old escape tunnel. Because it is real. I'm just not sure if it's collapsed or destroyed or it's just completely sealed off. But an interesting cemetery to see in general. It's probably just drainage or something. Yeah, probably just the old shitter for the castle. Not gonna crawl up that. Now I've came down to the beautiful Shibanek Riva because at the end of the wall here is something I've always wondered about. Supposedly this tunnel was underneath the wall. So I don't know if this was at some point part of it. it doesn't look like it but possibly at some point but it kind of just looks like that was just dug out and maybe not completed no maybe this is not it that looks like old rock perhaps this tunnel is who knows perhaps through this gate that is locked it was possibly over there at some point. Maybe if I can get through there. I could probably squeeze under here. It does look like there's some kind of passageway there. Uh, right in the middle of everything. Maybe there was a roof. And that passageway maybe is what they... Perhaps a tunnel before, but 
I wonder what that goes to. I can't see around this corner. Obviously, no one's been back there for a while. Things rusted. Now, Shibenik's a really cool looking city. It's the only Croatian founded city on the Dalmatian coast. Uh, okay, that's what that was. So it's just a passageway through the wall. You can see through there that that's nothing. Perhaps, a, what was a tunnel? Now I found some old pictures online saying that there was a tunnel, but it could have just been the passage through the walls that would have led them right down to the water anyways. It would make sense that they would just escape down through here. But there are for sure tunnels up on the fortresses on top of the hill. Now up here is Tanaya or St. Evans Fortress where the bulk of the fighting in 1647 took place. But real quickly I want to show you something over here that I believe is from the Second World War. Now this is actually a whole Cold War era what I believe was the Navy headquarters base. There's some tunnels and some old command rooms through there that I actually covered in another video. I'll link it at the end of this, but real quickly I want to show you this Second World War machine gun nest. So, right through here. Should take us right over to that machine gun nest. And the tunnels just look different to me. Now the thing is, these JNA tunnels, or Yugoslav People's Army, sometimes did look like this. And it all depended on how the stone was. If the stone was sturdy enough on its own, they didn't give it a complete makeover. Like a makeover, a complete finished look to it. But to me, this looks like Second World War stuff that was here possibly from the Italians. Hey! So here's that machine gun nest that you can see from the road. And we are heading up to the fortress over in that direction. So quickly, I just wanted to show you guys this. And here's an anti-tank line. No, just kidding. So now we're heading up to the fortress of St. Ivana, or Tanaya, which is the largest fortress, and also where the majority of the fighting took place in 1647. When 20,000 to 30,000 Ottoman troops lost anywhere from four to nine thousand at fighting here at this fortress overlooking Shibenik. Now over here you can see Fortress of St. Michael where we were earlier. I was unable to find the tunnels this time. But now you can just see how much bigger this is in comparison. There's a Latin inscription I believe up there. Probably tells you when it was built. And I believe it's somewhere over here. Now the nickname of the fort, Tanaya, I think it's like an old Croatian word for like claw or pincer. So the shape of this fort is, it's like a star fort, but apparently the Ottomans attacked from this direction and basically got fucked somewhere around here. All right guys, game time, tunnel time. Oh yeah, this goes back. directly underneath the castle. So let's go see if this goes around the corner or maybe it just ends. Oh shit. It looks like it keeps going. Oh man, maybe there was even a... no. 
<laughs> Good times. Oh, this just looks like trash and rubble that's filled in over the centuries. I don't know how old this place is. And good luck finding any type of document about this in particular. Oh shit. This thing opens up. I should be wearing a helmet. There's a lot of things I should be doing. I'm here climbing underneath a castle. For me and for you guys. Holy shit. <laughs> this might actually lead to somewhere. I, I can't. See, this looks newer. But if there was a fortress right above us, like there is, I'm. Oh, dude, this room. Holy shit! It goes. It goes down again. Oh no no, this looks old. There's a couple fires in here at some point. Dude, this is a kind of old ass door here. doesn't really look second world warish because instead of just like a tunnel it's like there's this big room here <laughs> and it goes down further so oh, there's some kind of weird oh shit what is this it's like a this is weird guys See, what I would think this would be would be a, an old powder magazine, but it's also wet down here, so you don't want your shit getting wet. What? Stand full height in here. Dude, this room is huge. And we are directly beneath the castle right now. That's... Oh, that looks. Nah. See, this looks like dynamite blast. So, that would tell me that this is probably not 1600 stuff. But then again, there could have been like an existing sort of underground passageway here that they expanded on. Possibly a second, yeah, these are blast holes. That's what that is. Let's look around, see if we can find anything that will give us some more hints. This is stuff we're partying. Maybe if you dug, but also again, if this is Second World War stuff, it could be some UXO. Light coming from over there. So yeah, it does go up and out. It looks like probably to that bunker. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that bunker, but, oh man, obviously built later though, but why would they go so deep, and why build it next to a castle, when there's that whole base over there, maybe it was just an observation bunker, yeah, so you can see how,
somebody walking around out there. Probably saw my light and freaked out and started to look over here, but yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. You're cute. That's about it, guys. I think mystery kind of solved. I think this is just, there was possibly something down here originally, and then they, uh, well, expanded on it because blast hole, blast hole. Uh, possibly an Italian bunker, maybe just an observation one. Kind of like that machine gun nest that I just showed you guys. Yeah, this is all blasted out. But none of the, regardless, that was pretty cool. And uh, I think my curiosity is satisfied for the day. Broke my fucking phone. Anyways. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Do me a favor and uh, do the typical YouTube stuff, like and subscribe because right now I'm standing beneath a 17th century fortress where battles took place and that's pretty cool. I'll see you guys on the next one. Vidimo say.